Gen Z staff are slacking off at least one day a week due to mental health and the lost productivity is costing the economy £138 billion per year. They only take six days off as sick leave, admitting they show up to work the rest of the time but struggle to achieve <laughs> anything, losing up to 60 days of productivity a year. Over 50s, on the other hand, lost only 36 days a year. A new research shows young employees feel they can't work at full capacity because of issues linked to burnout, stress, anxiety and obesity. It's bad news for Britain's economic growth, which is stifled by poor health, with a record 2.6 million people off work because of illness. The biggest rise in economic inactivities in adults aged 16 to 34, with more than half a million signed off. Look, you know, um, I really hate Gen Z. I think they are hate lazy. Them. I've managed... <laughs> I've, I've managed no generalisations. No, oh, they're all lazy. Gen Z. All of them. No, I'm not. I'm a millennial. Oh. I've managed Gen Z before, and even presenting them with facts. As a journalist, you would have your work, your work ripped apart. That's the whole point of being a journalist. Your editor makes it better for you. They teach you by shouting at you and telling you, this is rubbish, do it like this. Yeah. You can't do that with Gen Z because they start crying. Even when I present them facts, Chad Evans, remember him, the footballer who got uh, in prison for rape? Yep. Then it was overturned and he was freed. I simply said to the newsroom, you can't keep saying uh, accused rapist. He's, a, he's an innocent man now. Some Gen Zer thought that was a step too far and complained to HR. And I got hold of HR to be told I must be more sensitive of people. I was like, sensitive of what? The truth? It's absolutely ridiculous. Gen Z, as Colin says, get in the bin. Yeah. You get know who won't bin. agree with you? Esther. Oh, no, she will. Oh, she <laughs> I'm, will. I'm Gen Z. Look, I think it's easy to, to write off Gen Z as lazy and woke and privileged. And yep, a good, let's and do a, it. <laughs> and a good section of them are. But I think this is one of those points that conservatives, conservatives have really failed us on. Because actually... The issue with mental health when it comes to, to young people has been creeping up on us for decades and what? we've chosen to ignore it, right? What... You just had a personality transfer. I, I had a personality transfer. <laughs> Pull well, you have to, you have to, Pull your you socks have up. To look <laughs> get to work. You have to you look at why. You lazy so and so. Well, yeah, but you, that's my child. It's right in my house. And so there's discipline. But you have to look at why, right? If you, t if you took a classroom of 30 children now, five out of them will have mental health issues. Mm -hmm. In the last three years alone, mental health issues amongst young people have gone up by 50%. But what? Can't, because they lack purpose, right? Because they don't know, they, they don't, they have, they lack the social ties that keep them rooted in society. You have social media blowing steam up their bums to make them think all they have to do is buy a 2,000 pound course on Instagram and they can become a Bugatti driving, you know, hot woman sleeping with, you know, Andrew Tate look-alike. They've got right? no resilience. Yeah, they don't have, they're not rooted in anything because we've, ne we've neglected that. We've all been thinking, oh, what are your pronouns? And how free <laughs> yes! do you feel today? We instead, of actually, instead of actually giving them Bear some sort of structure in their lives. Bear in mind that the lives. entire production studio upstairs is filled with Gen Zers. So, yeah. You know, they haven't cut <laughs> yeah. us off And they're yet. weak, They haven't cut us off but yet, but you we, won't be booked. Haven't we just... <laughs> we, I, I think you know, you, Esther is onto something. We, we've sort of just recalibrated... Uh, uh, what is offensive or what is upsetting. Mm -hmm. And so these particular youngsters yeah. uh, have decided that what once upon a time would, would have been non-controversial. Yeah. is a, So giving somebody uh, a, a telling off, yeah. even a gentle telling off, no, that's absolutely is, right. is offensive in itself, even if it's done in a very mild the way. Pandemic, the pandemic, the the role that the pandemic will have played with that generation in a few years. So if we think Gen Z is bad, the next ones are going to be even worse because they've missed out on even more of what Esther's talking about, of that social cohesion, of knowing who they are, of knowing how to take advice or how to take criticism mm -hmm. without, you know, throwing it up in your face. So we've a lot, but I do think, I hate to bring it back to politics, that that is a reason why we do need more mental health help in schools. Because I know it's you might think it's pandering. Uh, it is. But, more but, mental health in schools, more balloons in their bellies. Exactly. Great. We, we, actually, we actually need a more cohesive social, uh, uh, well, society than just... You Do know, you know what I discovered just last health. week, just a very final point, just last week, that taking a work experience person, throwing tar over them, and, and then cover them in feathers is apparently a no-no these oh, days. You're kidding. Honestly. They are like that in my day, Ian. Unbelievable.